Hey vlog, what do you think of my background? Green screen, jungle forest over here, and apartment. I love backgrounds. Backdrops are just some of the coolest things in the world. Now vlog, it is December 28th. This is Wednesday. And I've got this all set up because I was filming the main channel video on a Grove man lift. A uh, toucan man lift actually made many years ago. And I did a product review on the model of the Grove man lift. And it was made by Joel 125th scale die cast replica. And it was made a long, long time ago. Way back in the 90s. It is an old piece. But I thought it would be kind of a cool way to uh, join the new year. Lift up with a man lift. I don't know. I don't expect tons and tons out of this video. My construction videos usually, uh, that kind of equipment stuff usually does okay. It doesn't do spectaculars. Now I do have one humongous outlier on my main channel and that is a Montfort video. It just got somehow YouTube found another audience for it and in the last seven days it's got 7,000 views added to it and now it's up to 28,500 and some views as of recording this it's gonna keep going up too actually uh, I'm not sure where they found this audience, but I'm super excited that they did because I really wanted this video. I knew when I made this video that it was going to be a big video. I just knew it. I didn't know it would take so long to get there. I mean, it took a long time for anything to be found, especially since I uh, didn't have much of an audience when I filmed it. But then again, over on this channel, thank you to subscriber number 35 today. But on this channel, I had a video with, I don't know what, eight subscribers, and it's got 4,200, 4,300 views already. And wow, I, I'm just blown away. Proving that subscriber count is not nearly as important as we think it is here in YouTube land. YouTube is right, you know. I, I've done a lot of the research and I've followed all the myths and all the stuff that people come up with. Well, my video does this. My video is going to do that. My video and this. Guess what? They have all their theories, but none of them actually have an insight into YouTube to know whether their theory is right or wrong. The best they can do is test it. And some of these theories are so way out there, I wouldn't even bother even thinking about them. But the ones that seem plausible, that make sense, I have tested quite a few of them. Most of what the YouTubers out there are telling you is false. It doesn't matter. The things that don't matter, really, really, that people do, just don't matter. Those theories, they're just theories, and most have been disproven. And guess what? Little insight here. For those of you who actually are YouTubers, there's a YouTube channel that is maintained by YouTube. They tell us of tips, tricks, updates, all kinds of stuff. And guess what? Their information is based on what is actually happening at YouTube. They're the only people that you really should listen to. And guess what? That's who I listen to. Um, I tried out their theories. I thought some of them were bunk. Yeah, no, no, no. You got to have lots of subscribers to get lots of views. Nope, this channel proved that. My other channel, eh, 2,600 subscribers. That's a good number. But a 28,000 viewed video, that's a bit more than the subscribers, isn't it? And I got a 10,000 viewed video and quite a few in the seven, eight, and 9,000 range. So, subscriber count is not nearly as important as we think it is. There is a minor correlation. The odds are that if you've got a million subscribers, your video is going to do better than a guy who's got 10 subscribers. That, yeah. But then again, is it because they've got the subscribers or is it because they have 
the large following of people that are going to find your videos anyway. Also, once you've probably got into that million subscribers, you most likely have developed the perfect method for coming up with a video that your audience likes. Yeah, YouTube, the key is one good idea. It's not, no, it's not how many ideas and just cranking them out as fast as possible. One good idea ranks out over a hundred okay ideas every time mr beast is right on that that point completely just one great idea instead of a hundred okay ideas say it with me one great idea now how do you come up with those ideas and even better how do you make sure people on youtube are gonna care about that idea well guess what guys I teach you exactly how to do it over my YouTube challenge. It tells you exactly how to choose those videos that have a hungry audience waiting for content creators. There's a link to sign up down in the description below. And the first of the year, we start off on Monday, January 2nd with a new challenge live. And coming in the middle of the month will be my YouTube course. So you want to join the challenge now so you're ready to tackle the course when it comes out. The course is also going to be taught as a live thing, everything done live. So you'll be able to ask me questions and I'll answer as best to every question that I can. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, the rest of the day, I'm going to finish editing that uh, Grove Toucan video because it goes up tomorrow. If you're not a subscriber on my main channel, get over there and watch it. You're really missing out. Plus, you're going to want to see this Grove Man Lift video. I've got a new idea on how I'm going to do it. That's why the green screen. So, that'll be it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog.